Alright, let's start it up. We are back with another game of Deceive Inc. We are running Hans today. So, just recently I got Hans to level 9. So that was the last person I needed to now have access to every weapon in the game, every expertise, and every... That NPC just kind of jumped. It's not a player for sure, because the game just started, but they kind of just jumped. Um, every weapon, every expertise, and every passive available right now. It could do worse. So, that's pretty good. Um, we're not running the Weapon 3. I tried the Weapon 3 a couple times here. And, uh, honestly, I found that I liked the Weapon 1 better. So we're back to the Weapon 1. And I'm going to talk about why as soon as we get in this pink room. Purple room? I don't know what I want to call this room. It's a color. Magenta. Come on, door. There's a lot of fighting going on. You have found a vault terminal. We got a vault terminal. Good job. So, we're going to talk stats on the Weapon 3 for a second. It has fast fire rate and slow reload speed. It does 45 damage to the body when you're, uh, in, when you're using it as a shotgun. And then when you aim down sights, it does 60 to the head and 30 to the body. And if we compare that to the Weapon 1 here... Oh, it also... Also only has two shots in the clip and a slow reload speed. So if you, once you take those two shots, if you say you uh, you do two shotgun shots, uh, 45 damage each, that's 90 damage. Uh, if you're close enough, you can finish someone off with a uh, melee. Uh, if you're not close enough, you gotta go through the long reload. That's as a player here, this NPC, I think. That guy is running super weirdly. The Lawson, of course it is. There we go. So each of those zoom shots were 25 damage. Plus the shotgun blast at the end should have been 45. He was jumping, we might have hit a limb for a little less. Um, I know there's a fight going on, but I really want to go down here and see if there's a pink key card. Just the blue. There's always key cards down here. There's not always, it's not like 100% every single game. But this is the area I find more key cards than any other on this map. And if you don't want to use the door, you can jump in through the fountain. Um, it's not safe and, you know, kind of obvious, but key cards. And they thought it was secure. So, back to this. The weapon one here has six bullets in the clip before you have to reload. Um, it has a slower fire rate. Um, it has a fast reload time. And it does also 45 damage to the body in shotgun mode. It does 50 to the head and 25 to the body when you're aiming down sights. So compared to the weapon three, we have way more shots and the same amount of shotgun damage. The spread looks to be the exact same, so the falloff seems to be the same as well. The only difference is our ADS shots um, are better with the uh, weapon three, but there's only two of them. You do get, um, and you do get a fast reload on the weapon three. Sorry, you get a slow reload on the weapon three. My apologies, got them mixed up. So once you get those two shots done, you need to reload. Um, so that fight is a floor above us, at least, I think, maybe. Diamond Spire sucks for trying to hear where fights are, by the way. Um, where are we going? D? We did E already. I guess we make our way to D. We're looking for... We're actually looking for a pink key card this time. Yoink. So I've decided I like the weapon one better. It doesn't have as quick a fire rate, but you get six shots before you have to reload. And it like you have enough damage in your clip to kill someone, basically. Like the 45 plus 45 reload um, isn't like 45 45 is only 90 damage, which doesn't kill anybody. Kind of an issue when you're trying to get the kill. <laughs> Um, especially when you're kind of close range, where you don't have any escapes. 
There is no vault terminal in this location. Someone beat us here. Unfortunate. I feel like there's now a fight where we just left. But I think it's still upper floor. It's so hard to tell. Others seem to be doing your job for you. A vault terminal is deactivated. Overclock chip. Two here. Three here. Drawer? Nope. This drawer? I need one more for the chip outside. Perfect. Open this. Kind of risky. Actually, we're on D here, so that's opening in the floor. And you really gotta pick what you wanna risk. You can either risk exiting the thing there, or you can risk dropping through the floor, which is also pretty obvious. The person ran in and stopped, which is kind of a player thing to do, so that's why I was being a little suspicious of them. The fighting has probably stopped by now. What are you running for? That? Nice. Would be a good idea. Hello. That's a, not a player? He stopped right in front of the thing. Okay. I apologize to that guy. Thought he was opening that safe. Vault is open. We are a floor below it. There's a player if I've ever seen one. Did they miss the jump or did they purposely fall down? Ah, there, that, that was purposeful. Can we catch them? No, they are sprinting the whole way. Okay, they're not looking back either. Let's see, they are a hat guard. We're just behind them. Have a key code and we don't. So I think we are stuck. We do know that they are a blonde technician, but I don't know if that's going to help us. Minions. That's what I called them. Probably not that blonde technician, because I think they would have shot us. Damn, they are so fast. They must have had every key code. There's no way they come out this way. Oh! Sounds like they're fighting someone? Okay, we're not fighting a shield. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm not fighting a shield. It's too difficult. Okay, they went the other way. Let's heal up. That, let's heal up, please. Yeah, they went the other way. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to chase them down. I think there's at least one more person alive unless that other fight traded. Or that's them there. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna leave that for a second. Key cards, key cards, key cards. Saving some intel by and Clever. we didn't hear the car gear news. That's why I don't want to do this just yet. So we're gonna heal back up. Then we'll grab the package. Then we'll kill. I think probably one person. Let's see, this also kind of sucks them towards us. Like they want the package because it's got the on the ground symbol. It's one person and it's a cab. That's not good for us. Okay, now where she's at. Oh, I should say we only saw one person, it's a cab. Activating rival agent detection. Okay, let's go down to guard. Grab these two. Know where the is. Run. I'm still trying to decide what kind of strategy I want to use while I'm using the uh, uh, nice tripwire, I guess. If I had bounce pad here, I would go up, but I don't. Really? 
Okay, let's give her. I'm gonna hit this so she can't follow very quickly. And we're gonna run up to A, I think. Safe? Don't know. Got the intel. Initializing rival agent detection mode. Can we call C from here? Not quite. That kind of hurt. I thought that was a, there was a bench. Okay. The ping is literally in front of us. Locked. Great. But she, this does force her to come down to us. Activating rival agent detection mode activated. Extraction vehicle waiting. Keep a cool head. There we go. Got her. And now we extract. And I'm pretty confident. Yeah, there's no one around. So that's our Hans game. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Please leave a like if you did. Comment on your favorite Hans build because this is the one I found I like the best. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. I'm gonna hang out for the stat screen since I like to see those and I know other people do too. Hopefully we don't level up, otherwise it takes a little longer. All right, we didn't, but we did get 2,800 experience points, three eliminations, five field upgrades, four key cards, and an extract. I will see you in the next one.